stop presenting static render images and instead turn them into dynamic construction time maps that stands out in any presentation. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Construction process time lapses are a great way to gather eyeballs to your project and with the AI tools available today, we'll be able to create time lapses from just one single render image. The tools we'll need for this is Nano Banana, which is free, any video animation AI tool and a simple editing app. This might sound complicated at first, but trust me, I'll break this down for you in just four simple steps. We'll be using this simple render image of an apartment complex and turn it into a construction time-lapse video. I'm Salman, an architect and an illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can learn more unique workflows in architecture like this. So let's jump into it. Step 1. Creating image sequences. We have one single image of the final render, but to animate it seamlessly, we will need at least three images of the project. For this, we'll have to imagine an empty site where the building is located and at least one image that shows the building while in construction. And Nano Banana is the right tool for this. Head over to Google AI Studio, the link is in the description, and start a new chart. Upload the rendered image and choose Nano Banana. We now have an aspect ratio option, which was not there the last time we made a video on Nano Banana, so that is something we could use. Let's leave it at auto. And for the prompt, let's ask it to create a photorealistic rendering of the same location and environment before the building was constructed. And the site is an empty, untouched ground. We'll need to specify that the lighting, environment, background buildings, and any specific things you want to retain as per your render. Click Run and you will get your results with just the building remote, empty site, and all the other elements as it is. This will be the first frame of the time lapse. You can tweak the prompt if you have any specific site details like the ground cover and stuff. Now, pay attention to this part to create the second frame which shows the building in construction. We'll have to upload the original render image again. If not, the platform won't really understand our requirement. So let's upload the render again. For the prompt, let's describe to create a photorealistic rendering of the same apartment complex shown during the construction phase before the exterior walls and cladding are installed. Only the structural concrete, framework, and floor slabs are visible. Click Run and you'll get the result of your building while shown in construction. I like this image, but I really want to remove the plants and creepers on the building structure. So we'll have to redo the image. I generated it once again, but I wasn't able to remove it. I totally understand your frustration in the comments about Nano Banana not giving perfect results each time. But we'll have to understand that this is only a tool and not some magic wand. For this image, I had to actually generate it multiple times across different charts for the right output. So it definitely takes a bit of patience and trial and error. This is the result which became the second frame for the animation. So we now have three frames, including the render, to take it forward. Step 2. Upscaling the images If you're using Nano Banana through Google AI Studio, the resolution of the outputs will be smaller. So we might have to upscale them before animating these images. This is more like an optional step if you prefer better quality. Let's remove the watermark from the render using Photoshop. We can just select the area and use the Content Aware Fill to remove it. Most of the AI upscalers are paid platforms and for this one, Let's use this free tool from Pixar. Just upload the image and you will get a higher resolution, sharper image. It's not very high quality, but decent enough. Let's upscale and save both these images. For our understanding, let's rename the three images as per the animation sequence from empty site to construction and final render. Are you still spending hours to render your cat plans and make them realistic? You could be missing out on a workflow that could save hours of your time. Check out my masterclass on realistic flow plan rendering with Nano Banana and Photoshop, where I break down how to turn simple cat drawings into eye catching realistic visuals with Nano Banana and Photoshop. A lot of architects have already used this to transform their presentation game. Plus, you also get a free PDF with a list of prompts and references that can help you make your workflow smoother. Check out the Gumroad link in the description to get started with this masterclass. Step 3. Animating the frames We now have three images, so it's time to animate them. You can use any AI video tool that allows you to animate start frames and end frames like Kling AI, Midjourney or Xfield. I'll be using Kling AI for this and if you know any AI tool that is free to use, let me know in the curve. The link to Kling AI is in the description. Head over to the video tool where we have the start and end frame animation. The start frame is image 1 and the end frame is image 2. So let's upload them. The prompt is quite similar as well. Let's ask it to animate it 
and show construction cranes, workers, trucks with materials on the site. The camera angle to be constant, like a time lapse, and the building rises from foundation to completion. We can choose between 5 to 10 seconds, and 5 seconds works for this. Click generate and it starts creating it. We have the result, and this is a really cool sequence showing the building rising from ground just like how an actual construction process happens. Kling also generates audio as well, so that is an added advantage. Now, let's delete both the frames, and this time, image 2 is the start frame, and final render image 3 is the end frame. The prompt is almost the same. Let's only remove the text from the foundation and click generate. Now, the building goes from bare shell structure to the final output with the exterior elements and finishes. The sequences look great already. Step 4. Adding the videos together. We now have two video sequences and the next step is to putting them together as one single video. You could use any video editing tool for this or a mobile app or even online sites that can help you merge two videos together. I'll be using Premiere Pro for this and I've added both the sequences in the timeline. The only edit I would do is to just trim off the ends and starting off the two sequences so it appears more seamless. Export the video and there you have the final results. Similarly, you can use this process for any building structure. Here's another example of changing the lighting between frames to create an animation. So that is how you can create engaging time-lapse videos in just 4 simple steps. Don't forget to check out the masterclass on realistic flow plan rendering with Nano Banana from the link in the description. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.